Welcome back to Misfit HQ. Drew and Sherb here to cover cycling the heavy shoulder to overhead. When you see your opponent in a competition walk up to a heavy barbell and they just go up and down nice and easy, it seems like it's a superpower. We're here to say that that's because they are maintaining balance and a neutral spine. As a coach, I wanna watch this movement from the profile. I wanna see it from the side, and I want to see your torso and your head moving straight up and down for that repeatability. Not only is the neutral spine nice and stacked and strong from a physiological standpoint, but it helps us maintain balance and efficiency within the movement. So now let's cover what it takes to maintain the neutral spine from the lumbar spine to the thoracic spine all the way up to the C-spine. So the first thing Sherb's gonna do is he's gonna set himself up like he's about to push jerk. He is going to put his hands into his sides here and he's gonna make sure that he understands how to truly brace his trunk to accept the weight. What he's gonna do is really push into those hands. You should feel your hands push out. You should be able to see your hands push out in this position. That is the bracing that is going to take for that 70 to 90% to hit the torso every time and maintain a neutral spine. Now he's gonna go ahead and grab the barbell. In the other part here, when it comes to the lumbar spine, that low half of the spine is going to be make sure the hips can stay open. If the hips can stay open, then we can stay vertical. We do that by pushing the knees out. That allows us again to open up and have the spine sit in the sacrum nice and vertical. Now, as we move up with the bracing, we move up to the thoracic spine. This is so much about your front rack position. We've said it in other videos. We'll say it in more videos other than this one. We wanna start out at the hand, trace in to the elbow, and then back into the shoulder. For a lot of athletes, that means a bit of a wider grip, but that allows for that thoracic spine to stay vertical. Now, when we're talking about the C-spine, if this part gets messed up, it won't matter how good your front rack position is. It will mess with your thoracic spine a little bit. So now that you have a profile view of Sherb here, he's gonna do a few reps and I just want you to watch his head and think about where your eyes would be looking if you were trying to do the same thing. Good, you can go ahead and put the bar down. What we're looking for in that position is not a lot of movement, which can come from either going way back or being too exaggerated when you put your head through, or what we like to call the human Pez dispenser, where the head goes back and the head goes forward each time. When we're chasing repeatability, we need to be able to almost turn the noise down a little bit when it comes to your movement. If we stay neutral in this position here and the head just moves slightly back and forth with the tuck of the chin, then we can stay in that position. So again, just to recap, we are chasing that neutral spine each time. We gotta be knees out. We gotta brace. We have to make sure we have a wide enough grip for our thoracic spine to stay there and we're not gonna go Pez dispenser style. What we are looking for is for you guys to work on this outside of a Metcon, really try to put it together there. And then as you get better at it, we add some intensity and then you are the one out on the competition floor absolutely crushing it. Give it a shot, we'll see you next time.